Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Freaking Rocket here. Welcome to a tutorial on how to install additional mods onto any Technic Launcher mod pack. Um, today, I will be showing you how to install it for the Volts mod pack, but the concept is the same for each mod pack. Um, now, I did uh, try to figure this out. Uh, I googled it uh, and watched a video by Caker Mix or SCT. Um, and that was about the only video I saw. Um, and I tried that, it didn't work for me. It was a great video, but it just didn't work. And I'm sure that's how it is for some other people, too. So, and I managed to find out a way to solve this problem. Um, I personally think it's easier, simpler. You don't have to download anything at all. The only thing you need is the Technic Launcher. Um, now, so if we uh, start up Technic here, uh, we got to make sure that... I, you have installed, like you've logged in underneath the Volts mod pack, um, and I don't have any custom zip, nothing, nothing like that. Um, so it's real easy. Um, log in, make sure all that's downloaded, um, and because I, I deleted mine, so I so, so that I'd start fresh. Um, um, so if we let that do its thing, let that pull up, uh, then so that it gets all the necessary files. Um, uh, what you are going, so now this is up, you can close onto that. Oh, um, uh, okay, so now, if you go into your, uh, documents here, and click and find your username in this little drop-down arrow, um, now this folder, app data, it's a hidden folder by default. Um, in order to find this folder, if it's not there for you, go up in the top left-hand corner, click Organize, go into Folder and Search Options, then click on the view tab. Now about halfway down, don't show hidden files, folders, and drivers will be selected right here. You want it to show hidden files, folders, and drivers. Um, so if we hit OK and refresh it, it will pop up for you. Now if that doesn't work, um, for Windows you can get to percent app data percent in the start uh, thing and then hit enter and it will pull that up for you. So if you go into app data here and go into roaming, the Technic Launcher folder should be at the top. Now, um, if we select the Volts one, go into the mods, you can see all the mods that are currently installed, um, or it's attempting to install, um, but all of them are installed. So, and then, so let's say I want to get Red Power from TechKit Lite. Um, so if we go to that folder, now you have to have logged in under the TechKit Lite so that it downloads all the mods, um, and simply hold down control while I'm selecting the mods I want um, so that you can select them individually and not have to uh, oh oops and not have to uh, like uh, copy them one by one so let's add in some of these mods here let's get all the red power um, now this does work with uh, all the mods I'm showing you here and it also works with build craft industrial craft all that kind of good stuff um, now, it re might require some more block ID changing for you, but in the end, it should all work out. Um, so if we simply copy those, go back into the tech it, uh, launcher folder, click on vaults now, go into the mods folder there, paste them here. Um, now, uh, if we try to start up the uh, launcher here underneath vaults, it will not work because um, um, the block ID for some blocks that of mods that have already been installed are interfering with the ones I'm trying to install. So uh, now it's going to pull up and give you a little error message and it'll um, tell you all this stuff that you probably won't understand. Um, now, I will show you how to f understand the problem and show you how to fix it. Um, now, it'll say a full error port has been saved to, and then it'll show the file path. That is not the file you want. Um, what you want, like, it works, but uh, it's not as detailed as this other one I'm going to show you. Um, so, if you go back into the vaults folder here, and if you um, go into the file that says forge mod loader client zero that is the file you want um so if you open that up um 
you will see a lot of stuff. Now, don't freak out. This is very simple and easy to find what is happening, like what the error is. Now, if you see this little column here, it's like where it shows finest, finest, finest info, fine, all that stuff. Um, if you just keep scrolling until you find severe. Now, I, I would scroll through the whole thing, but I know um, just to make sure that, like, there's no errors, but I know where my errors is. It's, it's the very bottom. So um, you will see it says severe here, and it says a bunch of stuff. It says failures were detected, la di da di do. Um, now, if you want to read through most of this, this you can skip. Um, just kind of scan through it. Now, if you can't find the, like what it's telling you, I would read the whole thing. Um, now, it says... Um, a legal argument, uh, slot 4091 is already occupied by Dan200, who is the creator of ComputerCraft, as you can sort of figure out what mod it is here, is it says, like, computer, block computer, um, and it says, when adding mechanism generators, block generator, a lot to do, so it's interfering with the mechanism mod, um, they both have the same block ID. Now, um, and any other errors we will show you, um, so, there's, you know, you can solve this one of two ways. You can change the block ID for the computer craft, or change the block ID for mechanism. Now I'm going to do it for t computer craft just because it's, this I, don't, I haven't looked at the config file for mechanism, and it's just uh, I like. I mean, it's easy. That's just the way I've done it. So if you go into the um, configuration file in the volts folder, find computer craft. Now. In order to open this, you'd have to go into Properties, uh, Opens With, change it to Notepad, make sure it's on Notepad, and then hit OK. Uh, make sure it stays as a .cfg file, though, otherwise it won't work properly. Now, if you open that up, um, it will say, block it, it shows you here, right here, that this is the block ID that is messing everything up. Now, if we just change this one, it should work, but I'm going to change all of them because I want them to stay in the same general section in NEI that way they're all together because if you didn't know it's in order by block ID um, <clears throat> and for most mods the block IDs are just uh, one after another um, so I'm going to change all of these to 6,000 instead of 4,000 um, and make sure to save it that's a big big thing <clears throat> now if we try to start it up again here uh, let's go ahead and load that up. Um, now, if we log in, note I still don't have a custom zip or URL. Uh, you know, we won't have to do that at all because this is, I think it's a fairly easy way to solve things. Uh, and it's quick, it's easy. You don't have to download anything at all other than the Technic launcher. Um, so if we let this load up here. Um, it should work. Um, now, if it doesn't, I will show you how to fix it, um, because it, I will show you how to find it. So, it, again, gives me another error. Darn it. Um, now, so let's go back into the file here. Uh, let's close out of this. And now, if we go back into that client zero file, um, if we... Uh, Scroll down here until we see something that says severe. Um, oh, here we go. Severe. Okay. Errors were detected. Error array index out of bounds. Except, which means this block ID is too big and it will not work. Um, it is not already taken, otherwise it would have said so. Uh, so... We have to fix that. Yet again, just simply go back into the config file and oh, uh, computer craft. Now let's bump it down to um, let's do 2000. Let's I just hope that works. Um, make sure to change all of them. So that they stay near each other. That way, it makes just it just makes things simpler. So make sure to save it, and let's try it again.
Um, now, you know, you just have to keep trying this again, no custom URL. Uh, just keep trying this until it works. Um, and if there's multiple block ID errors, it, it, you know, it'll tell you, you'll just have to go through and change all of them. That's just how it is for now until, um, they fit. So look, it did pull up here. All the mods are here. Um, if we log in, just create a new world real quick. Um, everything should be working properly. Um, so that is how you, um, install different mods from uh into a Technic Launcher mod pack. Now if um if it didn't work for you, uh you can message me uh or leave a comment and I will try to get back to you about that. Um so, you know, I'm not I'm not a technical support person so I wouldn't know the answer to everything, but I I probably would. Um so as you see here if I search up, uh, let's see, Steve or Steve's carts, or let's search up cart. Um, or wait, if we just go into creative mode here, we see here there's the Steve's carts, and we've got Red Power here, yay! Uh, computer craft, more Red Power, all the micro blocks, great. You know, it's made so. It all works, um, as you see here, let's see if we can, uh, so yeah, there's something in here that had been taken up, there it is right there, the bio generator, the, the generators, what do you know, key generator was taking up my block ID, so, there is your problem, um, that's how you solve it, um, if you have any questions, leave a comment, um, I hope this tutorial helped you, and thanks for watching, guys.